House Republicans voted to suspend the debt ceiling today until May 19th. They also included a no budget, no pay proposal unless both chambers deliver a budget by April 15th. Senate Republicans also introduced their own version of the no budget, no pay plan today. And here now is the bill's co-sponsor, New Hampshire Republican Senator Kelly Ayotte. Senator Ayotte, welcome back to the show. As always, so Thank you, Larry. we dodged the bullet. We got the debt ceiling suspended for three months till May 19th. How about this no budget, no pay? Is that going to oh. work in the Senate? Larry, I think it should. I mean, the problem is it's been almost four years since the Democrat-controlled Senate has done a budget, and it's just irresponsible for our country. I serve on the Senate Budget Committee, and I can tell you the two years that I've been here, it's the most disappointing thing that they've not marked up a budget. In fact, Harry Reid said it would be foolish to do a budget. I think they're changing their mind. That's a good thing for the country. How are we ever going to get control of this $16 trillion in debt if we don't do a basic fiscal blueprint for the country and try to get a responsible path? And I'm, I'm really glad also that the House has said that they will do a budget that balances within 10 years. All right. Well, good luck on that. Good luck on that. Um, let me ask you something else. Another important date is March 1st. That is the automatic across the board spending sequester. Um, right. Senator Ayotte, will that thing go through? It doesn't require a vote. It is the law. It just says you do nothing. The whole sequester goes through $1.2 You know this better than I do. About $100 billion this year. I'm hoping it'll go through. Will it go through? I think the spending cuts will go through one way or the other, Larry. Uh, obviously, I'd rather see us do uh, a budget, prioritize spending instead of, you know, cutting everything and we should eliminate programs that no longer work. So one way or the other, those spending cuts are going to happen. I think there's a, a better way to do it if we actually did a budget and actually eliminated programs that are no longer useful and prioritized our spending. That's what people do at home and that's what we should be doing here. But how about letting this spending sequester go through? and then having a new budget for the new year, which will presumably trim spending even more. I mean, that's the kind of spending cuts and ultimately deficit reduction I think grassroots taxpayers want all across the country. Well, Larry, the one issue, I serve on the Armed Services Committee as well, and I think there are some cuts there that go uh, way too far. I mean, Secretary Panetta has said that we'd be undermining our national security for generations. So the safety and security of our country, particularly when we see happening overseas right now, we've got to focus on. But otherwise, you're right, Larry. And I, and I am all for making sure that we adhere to those spending cuts. And, and I think that if we do anything to ameliorate them, that we have to have alternative spending cuts. And yes, we need a budget for this country. That's why I signed up for this bill. I, you know, other people don't get paid when they don't do their job, and that's why I think this is an important measure. Just uh, quickly, you got any Democratic co-sponsors on this? Uh, we have Joe Manchin from West Virginia. Right. He's the one Democrat who's co-sponsored this. All right, so far. Let me ask you about what uh, House Speaker John Boehner said today. He said President Obama wants to annihilate the Republican Party. You buy into that? Well, I hope that's not true, um, but we haven't seen a lot of outreach to the Republicans. I, I think that his inaugural speech was not one uh, that cried for bipartisanship or outreach. So, uh, you know, I understand why the speaker is saying that, because uh, we need a president that's going to bring us together, especially on this fiscal issue. And I can understand by what we've seen from this president so far why the speaker said that. And I hope it's not true, because it's time for us to solve this fiscal crisis and work together. But if you hang tough on the sequester spending, cuts, for example, and give the taxpayers what apparently they want, maybe even some pro-growth tax reform, I don't see how the president can annihilate you. I think you might get right. the upper hand again. Well, I agree, Larry. You know, we, we had the uh, the fiscal cliff issue. Uh, he's gotten his uh, revenue, and it's time to cut spending. It's time for us to get a responsible fiscal blueprint for the nation. And yes, we should do pro-growth tax reform. You and I have talked about it on many occasions that lowers rates for everyone and makes us more competitive. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Senator Kelly. Hey, good luck. Thanks, Larry. Good appreciate luck it. on the amendments. I appreciate that.